welcome back to my channel. It's Ellie here and I have my June monthly favourites. Sorry this is late and I know that most people have put theirs up pretty late as well. It's just that I've been so busy and I've been filming lots of videos and I totally forgot about this one um, because I'm concentrating on all my summer videos. So sorry, I apologise. Let's get on with the monthly favourites then. Okay, so let's start off with skincare favourites then. My cleanser has changed. I am using the Cetaphil um, Gentle Skin Cleanser. This is amazing. It's really good if you have sensitive skin, if your skin is irritated, which mine has been, and it has been a complete and utter nightmare. I just have not been, you know, I've just been at my wit's end, basically, with um, my skin. It's been flared. It's been really, really red. It's been just breaking out horrendously about here and it's becoming really dehydrated and I need to use a lot of moisturiser and drink a lot of fluids and I just thought I'm going to switch up my skincare and I'm just going to go back to my Cetaphil. I usually use this and I always experiment, I always go and try something else but I always go back to the Cetaphil because it is so so good. So if you have acne prone skin or sensitive skin or if you're using any acne treatments then I highly recommend the Cetaphil because it is just so gentle on your skin. My second skincare favourite is some makeup wipes. Now I've been recently going through makeup wipes like nobody's business but I picked up some MAC um, facial wipes and thought I'll use these for removing my makeup. It's really good, they're really good for taking off your eye makeup. However, they don't smell particularly nice. Um, I'm not a fan of the smell, but you get 100 wipes. They're pretty good. They're good for removing your makeup. Um, I usually use this to take off like the bulk of my makeup and then use my cleanser. And I just like to remove my makeup when I come home. So these are awesome. Makeup, let's just start as I would put makeup on. Um, I have been loving the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I have it in the shade 115. It is so nice and it's so light and it just goes on so light you don't feel like you're wearing makeup and also it's really really good at covering any acne, any spots or scarring um, and it gives you a nice dewy finish but it's not greasy so I've been loving this. My next makeup favourite is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Concealer and I have this in Fair and it is so good for I've like had trouble sleeping lately and it's so good for just the dark circles under my eyes. It says that it's a full coverage um, concealer and it does when you put it on it does feel quite thick and creamy but when I put it under my eyes it doesn't look cakey or anything like that. It's just really really good and um, I find it quite highlighting as well. So I'm loving this. I think it's absolutely fantastic and it's good for covering any acne, any redness as well that I've been experiencing around like my nose area and just on my cheeks here and on my chin. So I've been loving this and it's just absolutely fantastic. The next thing that I've been loving um, is the MAC Merlai Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. Now I'm the type of person who... Um, I don't really go for anything that's really highlighting or anything really dewy on my skin but recently I've been loving it just like the foundation, um, it's quite dewy, I've been loving that sort of dewy highlighting look and I reached for my MAC Merlin Skin Finish and Soft and Gentle and started applying this just lightly above my cheekbones and just in my eye, above my eyebrow as well and I'm in love with it and I think that it's such a good look and it's my favourite at the moment so the next thing I have is a pigment and it is by Bella Pierre Cosmetics and it is in champagne and it is just this gorgeous, 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 um, creamy, like silvery flecks um, pigment and I just loved it on my eyes and just it's so, so nice and it's good for putting just in at your tear duct and also just highlighting if I don't use this soft and gentle, I'll use this to highlight um, above my eyebrow as well and it's gorgeous. The Next thing that I would do is apply a mascara and I've been loving the Tarte Light Cam Lights Camera Lashes. It's really really good. I'm the type of person who I find it really really hard to like curl my lashes. I have to always use like an eyelash curler like for quite a while um, and then 
find like maybe a waterproof mascara or the mascara that I normally use is either the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara or Benefits Their Real and just lately I was just getting a bit fed up with them and I was like I need to branch out and I got the Tarte Lights Camel Lashes and I love it to pieces. It is so good and I've been putting it on and every time I put it on I catch myself in the mirror and I'm like oh my eyes look so open and so nice and um, I'm just in love with this and, and I love the packaging. I think it's absolutely so cool and funky and I love seeing it in my makeup bag as well. I'm like oh it looks so pretty but yeah thumbs up for Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes and if you live in the UK and you want to get your hands on this then head over to QVC because that's where you can get all your Tarte goodies um, at the moment if you can't get to the States or you don't have any family um, in States or Canada that can send it to you so yeah left. Um, the next thing I have and I completely forgot about this because it comes into eyeshadows is the Laura Mercier palette here and this has um, ground espresso, sundown and warm sands. I love this palette because I've been staying away from home for a couple of nights here and there. This is just great for chucking in my bag but I absolutely absolutely love it. It has absolutely amazing colours and it's just a really really nice go-to easy palette. Um, so I'm going to move on to sort of like homely lifestyle products. Da -da. Um, I love like candles and I love my house smelling like fresh flowers so I have been reaching more and more for the Yankee Candle White Gardenia Tartlets. Now these are amazing if you want to just smell your house out like so much. Oh they're just gorgeous and it just smells like some sweet sweet flowers in your garden like I just love the white gardenia and I have it burning like behind me even now it is just absolutely lovely and every time anyone comes into like my apartment they're always like oh your, your apartment smells so nice is that your flowers and I'm like no it's not the flowers it's actually one of these wax tartlets from Yankee Candle it's amazing but this one has a sort of like peachy scent and it is the Champaka Blossom one it's just amazing. I could like eat it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's so sweet and smells like kind of like peachy apricot fruit. Um, so yeah, absolutely loving these. I think they're absolutely fantastic and they're so cheap as well. Um, if you maybe want to branch out in some Yankee candles but you don't really want to go and buy the big jars because I, I feel like the smaller jars don't give off as much scent as what the big jars do and they can be pretty expensive if you're constantly going to buy them. Um, whereas I find like having a couple of your favourite scents in the candles is absolutely brilliant but I always reach for the wax tartlets definitely just to smell out my apartment and they are amazing. Recently I have been reaching for the Cha Chia Seeds, um, the Chia company and this is the black Chia and so it's got like fibre, omega 3 and protein in it. Now I'm vegetarian so I was looking for something that I could put in my smoothies that would mean that I was getting more protein, more omegas because I don't eat fish and um, also a bit more fibre as well and so I tend to have like smoothies like every day or and mostly at the weekends as well like I tend to have like a few smoothies um, and so I've been popping these black chia seeds um, into my blender when I'm blending up and I've also if I'm not doing that then I make sure that I put it in my breakfast and it's just so good to get something really good into your diet as well but I've been loving it I think it's brilliant and really good it's full of vitamins and antioxidants and minerals and so it's really really good for you and this is like a superfood at the moment that everyone's trying and using so definitely thumbs up for the chia seeds I do feel a lot better when I'm a lot more healthier and I'm taking like a lot of more vitamins into my diet so well done. The next thing I have is um, a food that I picked up at the Royal Highland show and I was there with some friends and it was like really good fun and it was such a lovely day as well but I went to the Mrs Bridges stand and Mrs Bridges does like sort of preserves, jams, chutneys and all of that jazz and I found the Bonoffi curd and I don't really know what a curd is to be 100% honest 
apart from it's quite like a thick paste but this Banoffee curd is amazing and um, I was at the stand and I thought oh, I'm going to try this, this looks quite funny, I like banana things and I had my little oat cake and I tried the Banoffee curd and when I went back later on to purchase it um, the whole jar was like gone, the sample jar, it was crazy and I thought oh my goodness that is the one I want to get because it is just amazing, it just smells like this is going to be so disgusting, but like Heinz do like a baby jar that is banana and it's like a, it's supposed to be a banana puree or like a banana paste and it is like so so good and yeah um that's what it smells like and tastes like but it's I think it's really really nice and it's more like a treat for me so I have it on some oat cakes and it is a treat for me because it's probably not that good for you. Okay, so that's everything in my monthly favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the subscribe button and also give the video a thumbs up and tell me what your favourites are in the comments below um, and if you liked any of my favourites. Okie dokie. See you in my next video.